Are you like me and have a low-budget sci-fi creature wreaking havoc out behind your garage? Well, I think I might have an answer to all of our problems. Hi everyone, Nate here. So low-budget sci-fi monsters require DIY low-budget sci-fi solutions. Back during Christmas, I got one of those gift packages with some shampoo and some body spray and hair gel and what have you. I finally used up all of the body spray and got to looking at the container and, and thought to myself, you know, with a little tweaking, this could be a really cool sci-fi hand grenade. Now, I don't consider myself a prop maker. Rarely for any of my short films have I ever tried making any kind of props. So I decided to have a little fun with this just to see what would happen. And you know, take care of that whole low budget sci-fi monster. This was also a good opportunity to finish off some of those old spray paint cans that I've had from other projects. This is the gist of what I did. I found some colors that I wanted and started to put a base coat around my can. Once I was happy with all the coating, I went to the store and grabbed some painter's tape because I didn't have any of that. Now the fun really got to begin when I got the painter's tape, I could do some cool designs and make some cool stripes wherever I wanted, really use the imagination. It was somewhat of a meticulous process, adding some colors here, trying some colors there. One thing that helped me when I was trying to figure out the design of this hand grenade, which I did no pre-production on, I just basically started painting, which, my bad. I'm learning. I tried to think of a story about how the grenade might be constructed in this sci-fi world where this low-budget sci-fi monster came from. Perhaps there was some markings on the grenade that would indicate how to turn it to activate it. Maybe the colors at the bottom would suggest what the grenade does. And I will note that the color orange I used on the bottom of this hand grenade started to do something really cool that I didn't expect. I don't know if I was using the wrong kind of paint or what. Again, I'm not an expert in any of this. But it was starting to crack and distort, and it was just a really cool effect that I have no idea how it happened. So I went with it. But using that trick of building a story around the hand grenade, I feel really helped ground the whole thing in reality. So after much trial and error and painting and coating and repainting and recoating, I ended up with this. And one of the coolest things I think about this homemade sci-fi prop is that you can actually interact with it and twist it and have the little button pop up. I was even able to paint on the inside where the little spray nozzle is and turn that red so you kind of have a little practical effect there of the grenade being activated when that little space turns red. But enough talk. Let's go test this thing out. You know, before we go out there and take care of that low budget sci-fi monster, do consider hitting the subscribe button. I have a ton more videos coming out on the channel, including a lot of behind the scenes for my latest short film, Junk Drawer, which is also coming out on the channel. So again, if you don't wanna miss all those behind the scenes videos, my new short film, and all the other cool content that I'm planning on putting out, do hit that subscribe button. All right, let's go take care of this thing. That low budget sci-fi hand grenade worked like a charm, took care of that low budget sci-fi monster just like I needed it to. Having never done this kind of thing before, it was a huge learning experience and I'm really glad that I did it. I thought I was gonna be able to crank this project out, no problem, but it actually took me the better part of the day to get the hand grenade looking the way I wanted it to after much trial and error. It really gives you a whole new appreciation for people who do this kind of thing for a living and how much attention to detail has to go into big time movie props. Hey, what other objects around the house could you take and transform into a movie prop? Let me know in the comments below. What tips do you have for me about prop making? I'd love to hear those as well, so comments. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I do appreciate you tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next one.